Hi, it's Jolene from Yummy Inspirations. Today I'm going to share my four week ketogenic diet update as well as what I eat in a day, so keep watching, it's coming up now. Hi, so I am Four, four weeks into my keto diet journey and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm going to get into all of that later. Um, but first, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe now. I th share three new videos every week. I share meal ideas, I share what I eat in a day, grocery hauls, all kinds of low-carb, keto-friendly inspiration while I'm on my keto journey. Um, so subscribe, join the Yummy Inspirations community, make sure you ask any questions, any videos requests down below um, and check out the links I leave down below I've got to have a blog post going through everything I mentioned in this video and I've got loads of before and after pictures Ooh, scary to share but it's all down below um, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my full day of eating today's marks four weeks on the ketogenic diet the keto diet and um, I've got a bit of an interesting day planned you'll have to watch to see all the yummy goodness that's coming up um, and also check out um, <clears throat> I'm going to be making low carb waffles. I bought a waffle maker this week, so I'm going to be making waffles for the first time. And keep watching till the end of the video where I'll give you a full update on how much weight I've lost and all of the benefits and everything that I've been experiencing on the keto diet. So let's just get straight into looking at what I'm eating today. Okay, for breakfast I'm making waffles, the first meal of my eating day today. Um, I follow this recipe from a website, I will leave the link down below so you can follow along too. Um, I've beaten five egg whites until they're beautiful and white and thick and fluffy like that. And in this bowl I've got the five egg yolks, I've got a bit of melted butter, coconut flour, stevia, vanilla, baking powder and three tablespoons of milk and I'm going to mix it all together and pop it into my newly acquired waffle maker. So this is the first time I'm making waffles. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. So um, let's just put it all together and see how it goes. So this is what my waffle mixture looks like. I'm not quite sure about the texture consistency but it's the first time I'm making them so um, we'll pop them in the waffle maker and we'll see what they look like. So this is my first little batch. Obviously I didn't put enough batter in because they've got these cute little edges. Um, so that's my first little attempt of low carb keto waffles. I've got the next little batch in so I'll put a bit more batter into my waffle maker. I'm learning. They're pretty cute. I might give these ones to the boys. They can have one each and then I'll make bigger ones for my husband and I'm generous that way. Um, okay, so I'm just going to keep making my waffles and I'll show you when I've got them all done. There you go, my next batch will look a little more like it's still a little bit of a holy in the corner. Need to put more, bat more batter in. Okay, I'm going to remove these. So that's my little first attempt at waffles. Obviously you need to put a lot more batter in. Um, now I'm just going to drizzle over a couple of toppings and I'll show you that now. I've topped my new little waffles with a nice drizzling of cream and a little teaspoon of cacao nibs so it's kind of going to be like chocolate chip and cream and they look absolutely divine can't wait to get into them so that is my breakfast for today almost finished my <laughs> waffles I thought I'd just give a little review they taste really good look they look like they it's difficult to kind of say them that they're, they're just like waffles because they're obviously done with flour and all that in but for a low carb breakfast treat they are delicious and I quite like it with um, cacao nibs on top it kind of tastes like chocolate chip waffles or pancakes something like that but I really enjoy them and I will be making this recipe again and as I said I will share a link down below to the recipe that I followed so you can make these too it's gotten to lunchtime and as what's been happening lately I'm not particularly hungry well especially after those waffles so I'm gonna have a liquid lunch um I, what I've been playing around with is these ingredients to make kind of a smoothie um I just put in till it's just right so I'm gonna kind of go through the ingredients and then um it's up to you how thick you want it and how much carbs you have left in your day um especially with the berries I'll probably only put a couple of maybe a little handful or so of some, I've got ras frozen raspberries there, make them nice and icy and very delicious. And this is my protein powder I've been having. Um, my husband ordered this, this is the one that's a creamy vanilla whey protein. It tastes like marshmallows. It's really, 
really yum for a protein powder. So that is the protein powder that I've been having. I'm going to pop a scoop of that in, about a quarter of a cup or so of raspberries, a couple of beautiful spoons of cream, so it's going to be like strawberries and cream kind of thing. Um, about a cup or so of this almond milk. It's almond coconut milk. Here, let's look at the nutrition of it. Focus camera. Per cup, it's got one gram of carb and half a gram of sugar. So this is the milk. I kind of I quite like this one. It's almond and coconut. It's not just all almond milk. Um, that's the one that I am having at the moment. Um, a touch of sweetener. This is the sweetener I found that I like and that he likes me. And we'll stick in a couple of ice cubes for good measure. So we're going to pop this all in the blender and I'll show you what it all looks like. And as often happens, I just kept adding more ingredients of what I had till it tasted just right. And now this is just beautiful. And I've got a glass for myself and one for my husband and left over enough for another half a glass or so. Um, it tastes like raspberry, white chocolate, marshmallow. Mm, so good. Um, so that's my kind of lunch, my liquid lunch. Um, and I'll check in. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any snacks later on. We'll see how I feel with this. This is probably going to fill me um, until dinner time. And I'll just check in when I eat again today. Today. And this is my dinner today. I was, I'm still feeling a little bit full from that big liquid lunch. It was such a yummy smoothie. Um, but I also am craving veggies. So I've got a couple of tomatoes and spinach and I've just sauteed a whole lot of mushrooms and I'm having it with a little few slices of leftover silver side meat which I cooked the other day. So I've just cut a few little sliver those slivers of that and having all these veg and this is my dinner for tonight um, and now I'm going to move on to my update on how I've gone on four weeks of keto. So I hope you enjoyed watching what I ate today. Um, it was just a really interesting day, not a typical day but what day is typical? I have been just experimenting with all different recipes and today was no exception. Um, so let's move on to how I've gone. So as I said today, four weeks I'm on keto, the, my keto journey and the results have just been mind-blowing. Okay, so first off, the physical results that I've been feeling, the non-scale victories as they call them. Um, my skin feels so amazing and smooth. I keep getting my husband to come and feel my skin. That sounds so weird. Um, it just feels so different and soft and smooth and um, I have had better mental clarity when I'm working on blog posts or other work. I find I'm concentrating better. My mental clarity is just amazing. I wake up in the morning Morning. I just want to leap out of bed. I don't have that groggy feeling that I've been having forever. My joints haven't been hurting. I just feel so much more fluid. <laughs> the other day when I was parked in a shopping center, someone parked right next to me. I couldn't open my door and I had to climb in through the other side and climb. I would never have even thought of doing that. I'm hardly the most supple person and I think I moved some organs around in my stomach. But still, I, ha I just felt so much more able to do something like that. I know I still have about 20 or so kilos on my journey to go, um, maybe more, we'll see how we go. Um, so I am hardly a small person, but I definitely can feel so much smaller in myself. I feel like I'm taking up less space. I feel um, my teeth feel better. I just, my everything, physically I feel so much better on the keto diet. Um, and what I did, what I found worked for me, and it might not work for everyone, but I want to share my journey. That's the whole point of this video is how my first four weeks have gone. Um, what I found was um, before keto, I was a carb fiend. So I don't even want to think how many carbs I was eating in a day. So going down to keto diet, going on to keto and going down to such a low carb number, I knew I would be in for a world of pain and trouble. So I eased into it. By that, what I did, by that, what I mean, what I did was I started at about 50 grams of carbs a day, which isn't technically low enough to be in ketosis or some studies argue it maybe is, but anyhow, I started at around 50 grams of carbs a day. And I did that while I was learning what keto food is, what can I cook in my keto kitchen, um, what foods I'm allowed. And obviously I ate a lot more vegetables and a lot more carb, keto friendly foods, but sticking to around 50 grams. And I did that for a few days until I felt... Okay, I definitely had the keto flu. I felt awful, but although at the same time I had tonsillitis, so it's difficult what to attribute to the tonsillitis and what to attribute to the keto flu. But I, did, I felt pretty rough that first week. Um, and so I just kept on 
at the 50 grams till I felt good, moved down to 35 or so grams, did that for a few days. And it wasn't until about 10-ish days in that I was actually at the 20 gram mark. And that's what worked for me and I felt great doing it that way aside from the first week. But I, I just felt if I would have gone straight to 20 grams, it would have been a lot more of a struggle to cope. That was my personal experience. I found that to be really useful doing it that way. And now I'm averaging between 20 and 25. Some days it's 18 grams of carbs, just depends on my day. Today's day was closer to the 25 grams of carbs, um, as you saw, but each day is different. And today was kind of a bit of a play and four weeks and celebrating and having fun. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. I'm just watching my scale every day. So that's what, where I'm at grams of carbs wise um, and so the scales that's what you want to know how much weight did I lose in four weeks well what happened was the first week obviously I lost all that water weight despite being at a higher carb content it was obviously significantly lower than what I was having before so I lost over three kilos in that first week which was wonderful and I thought wow this is awesome losing so much in the first week and then you guessed it the following week I stalled I stayed pretty much the same on the second weekend um, and I had highs and lows of feeling well I'm doing something different surely the scales should be moving more to knowing that I was feeling feeling better and that it takes time and I read up online and there's a whole um, concept called a whoosh where you stay the same for a long time and then eventually your body gives it up and you have a whoosh of a weight loss. Um, so it was only again around the 10 day mark that I decided to actually take measurements. I should have taken them from day one, I know, but I didn't. So day 10 I took measurements when I had about four or five days of staying the same. It's difficult to kind of keep track now but I had some time of staying the same I decided to take measurements and what I discovered lo and behold the scales weren't moving but I was losing centimeters inches especially from my waist it's always the first place when I lose weight I lose it from my waist so I uh, was losing centimeters and then the kilos it, it's kind of gone that way so I stay the same for a while and then I lose and then I stay the same and then I lose but I'm feeling the benefits, so I'm keeping on. So, da da da, da after four weeks, I have lost 5.7 kilos. That's about 12 and a half pounds. Um, I'll leave all the information in a blog post down below. So for me, four weeks, 5.7 kilos, I find that to be awesome. That's, I'm just so happy with that. Yes, I could have lost more if I had started at 20 overall, but then also I could have given up at week three because I just couldn't cope. So for me, I'm happy with that. You've got to do what you do and feel happy with it. I read all of the research and read all the rules and regulations and my husband's actually an osteopath and a naturopath and so he's very into reading all the research and the numbers and the science and together we're doing what feels right for us and this is what feels right for me i'm happy with 20 25 grams of carbs a day i'm happy on this weight loss journey i see no reason to give up the low carb keto way um but look it's not the only way to lose weight it's not the be all the end all i'm not going to be one of those persons that shoves it down your throat and say this is the only way you must do this um i it's working for me. I'm going to keep doing it. So obviously this channel is going to be about keto, low carb for as long as I'm ketoing and low carbing, which I see is going to be the next 20 to 30 kilos. So we'll be together for a little while doing this. Um, so if you would like to join the journey with me, subscribe to see how my progress is going to be going um, and leave a comment as well. And let me know, are you on low carb keto? Got any tips to share with me and with the community? I'd love to hear them. Um, got any questions or video requests I would love to hear them I'd love to put together videos for you that is what I want to do so um, thanks so much for watching this video and sharing this journey with me I really appreciate it really have having you there in my hand to hold along the way and making me accountable to keep on keep on ketoing and keep on filming to share it with you and how I'm going and we will see you in the next update thanks so much for watching and see you soon bye